Okay, hello, I'm Isaac Ostrom. I'm a licensed tile contractor in Northern California. Thank you for watching another one of my videos. Today I'm here with Mike, and he has a huge problem with the weedy shower that was installed in 2007. So Mike, tell us a little bit about how you came to notice the issues you were having in your shower. Uh, so actually for the first 11 years, 11 and a half years, I hadn't had any problem. I haven't had any problem with any of the tile work and especially with a shower. Uh, it was about three months ago I got in the shower and I noticed the floor was a little spongy and where the tile floor went up against the seat in the shower, uh, the grout line cracked. And it just felt like the floor was uh, just real spongy. Mm -hmm. um, so that's when I went ahead and you know start calling. I went and called uh, the tile contractor that did all the work has been out of business and been out of business I think for about four or five years. Um, but I still know uh, one of the field superintendents that worked for that company. I called him. Uh, he put me into contact with uh, Weedy, mm -hmm. and um, uh, basically that's where all this uh, started. Uh, the leak detection person determined they went ahead and plugged up the drain, filled up the pan, and then shot video underneath the house. And he water said it was, was like raining in there. Yeah, it water wasn't. just pouring out. So they wanted to make sure it wasn't like a pipe or it was just mm -hmm. like the drain or something. Um, so that time I got a hold of the Weedy because it was definitely, I felt it was definitely the shower pan. Yeah. Um, it took them a while to get out here, almost a month, um, but they finally came out. Um, it, when you go in the shower, there's a seat in there, there's a granite piece that matches the countertop. Okay. He was able just to kind of jerk real hard and jerk the top of that off. Okay. Uh, he jerked that off and then he started, he, there's two spots that you'll see in the report that he pulled the tile off. Then he determined, he could see the dry rot there, you could run a screwdriver there, mm -hmm. that basically all the wood from the seat to the floor, all of it was gone. Yeah. Uh, so he pulled off two more tile and he said, you know, hey, this is beginning and, and then uh, wrote up a report. Uh, and uh, then at that time, uh, they sent the report in and they denied the claim. Mm -hmm. And we can go over a little bit more of that. So what did he, did he explain what their system warranty was, the, the term? Time period. So uh, it's it, a homeowner. A homeowner installed warranty is ten years. Okay. Uh, and a professionally installed certified uh, warranty is fifteen years. Okay. Um, so I. This is not a homeowner installed project. So I, I definitely hired a, a licensed yeah. uh, tile contractor that was certified in the Weedy system that had a lot of experience in the Weedy system. Yeah. So this isn't their first job. Well, and they, they are probably the ones who advised you to use the Weedy system. Absolutely. Were, were they ambassadors for that brand? Say, hey, yes. we're comfortable with this. We love using the Weedy. We've been using it on all our homes. Is I that kind of how it was sold? To I, had, you? I had never heard of the system yeah. before. I just assumed it so, because so, I'm old school, I just assumed that it would be hot mop. Yeah, and Sorry. so the rest of the work, I mean, the, the tile work is from 2007. The rest of the work in the house is beautiful. I mean, I'm looking at it and I can tell that it was done professionally. You, I've seen enough tile work, I've been doing this since 2002, that I can tell if it was like a DIY or a handyman. Um, in our area, Northern California, we have some really good tile installers and you can tell this is a quality tile install. And the fact that they're using this on a lot of, if, if this was a system they were using, there's probably many showers that were done this exact same way. Would you assume that? I, I would assume that too. Yeah. And um, you mentioned some of the other tile work in the house and, and I'll let you go through. Mm -hmm. I mean, these guys were awesome. Yeah. I, mean, they, I mean, they did some beautiful patterns and did some beautiful work in here too. Yeah. So I, and you know, I'm, my wife is the quality control person. Mm -hmm. If there was any problem with a tile or the workmanship or mm -hmm. she didn't like something, she wouldn't have gone for it. Yeah. You can see it's quality. And so, and so you were just general contractor and now yes. you work for Simpson Strong Tide, yes. correct? So you're you're in the industry. Okay, well Mike, uh, we're gonna take a look at your shower. We're gonna just give our thoughts on it and I appreciate you letting us come, come down. My goal for making these videos is to shine a light on some of this stuff that's been happening in our industry. Uh, we have these large corporations, these manufacturers, a couple German companies that are really pushing these products and I think there's some misinformation out there on how 
easy these systems are, and it's kind of a, sh um, they use it as a way of, of marketing. And I think it, it you know, the, when we show these problems that arise from it, and I don't just show problems with Weedy or Schluter, I show problems from our own installs. I mean, I'm, I'm here to help people learn and grow and get better at our industry. So I appreciate you letting us take a look at this and, and we'll see if we can do this so it can help. And maybe Weedy can come up with a solution to this problem and maybe they're gonna add a step or two as they go forward. Um, yeah, both in training and, and, and product. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like I said, I mean, that's where I'm at right now. That's yeah. why I got a hold of you and I want this video to be out there because I just, I, I ran into you on YouTube yeah. And I seen one of your showers and I'm like, my shower yeah. looks like that. Yeah. And I'm really upset <laughs> and I don't know what, and I don't know what to do. Yeah. And you were just, you know, you're only 90 miles away. So it was nice. Yeah. You just up in Sacramento to have you come out and, you know, document, like I said, hopefully this video helps other homeowners or other people with uh, homes or even tile contractors. Yeah, for sure. For sure. That's what this, this page is all about. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, if you can get me any documentation that Weedy showed me, I'll, I'll read it a little bit. But, yeah, we're going to kind of dig into this, and I'll let you know what I think. Okay. All right. Excellent. Thanks Thank you very Mike. much. Yeah. All right. Okay. As you can see, we have major, major damage. Uh, one thing I want to point out in the state of California uh, in the, during the permit process, uh, you actually have to get your shower pans water tested. That's part of the permit application. I'll show you um, the, the test on here, but it passed the initial water test. So we know this wasn't leaking from the start. Some of these failures, you might want to say, well, it was probably leaking from the minute they put it in. This was actually tested by the county. It has to pass a 24 hour flood test. And so it passed. So we know this wasn't leaking from day one. From here down, typically in California, this is where the hot mop would go up and then all of the board would go over. So when the drywall contractor left up the gap of six inches here, the tile contractor used weedy and just put a six inch strip of weedy on here and then they put the next sheet of weedy over the top of it. What we have here, we got major rot. We have, let me get my gloves on. So yeah, so what we got, we got major water damage uh, we have you know this stuff this wood these wood members are just f falling out uh, we got joists this joist is completely loose rotted out subfloor is just destroyed and what we have over here, here here's a better look so I'll show you um, this, this is a better detail of showing how the whole system was constructed. So this piece of, of weedy board is attached to the framing behind it. Then they have another sheet of weedy that went over the whole thing. This, this piece of weedy was basically just a filler. Um, drywall could have been used. Um, here's the weedy. It's adhered really good. Um, so here's the here's the second layer. So you can see this is adhered really well. And Do you mind if I tear just a little bit of this off, Mike? So that is showing the second layer of weedy. Here's all of the sealant where it was adhered. So here you can see, here's, here's the, the layer of weedy that's directly under the tile. You have drywall underneath it. And then the, this second layer, is basically just a, a filler. It's, um, it's there 
and it's it's the same thickness as the drywall so this could be drywall or it could be weedy right mike they said they didn't have a problem with this going over drywall correct their their issue with it was um, that it was a different thickness okay as you can see so when they pulled it off the face of the seat it uh -huh. was a different thickness because all the wood was rotted away behind it but yeah. as you can see where the wood hasn't rotted away it was done at the same exactly the same thickness and this is basically the same thickness here so they use their weedy sealant dot method here um, but you can see where the rot happened I mean this is just extensive water damage these joists are completely rotted out Man, this is, this is gonna be a lot of work to repair. Um, they're gonna have to go back into the adjacent room. Um, they're gonna, we're gonna, there's gonna have to be um, new joists put in. And, you know, I think one of the, the, one of the issues that we have with these, with these foam pan systems is just how soft the foam is and it just has it has give to it so when you're relying on a simple simple little caulking joint that weedy allows you really don't have any room for air especially if you start getting flex and here in california our we have seismic activity we have a lot of forces that'll that'll put stresses on our our structures so foam is just soft and it'll it'll move and then once that happens that's when the sealant starts to break I want to see if I can get a picture of the rabbit cut out of here let me see this real quick So I want to show how, how Weedy uses their sealant. And here's some of the sealant right here. <coughs> Devin, are you getting a good shot of this? So here's, here's a section of the, where the floor and the wall of the Weedy meets. And you can see here we have uh, the Weedy sealant. It's, it's, a, it's, a white, it's a white polyurethane type sealant that has a lot of a lot of stretch to it and that's what's holding that's the only waterproofing that's my problem with weedy is you're just relying on basically a caulking joint between the floor and the wall to waterproof the whole pan there's nothing that laps up and over you're just relying on this caulking joint so I want to get to see if I can get here we go okay so you see how easy that came out you have basically a piece of, there's the rabbit. So what you do is when you get a weedy pan, you need to rabbit cut out. And what it looks like, it actually looks like they missed a step that Oh no, it's on there. Wait, wait a second. To me, what it looks like is there is supposed to be a bead of sealant in here. So this is the foam pan, the wall panel. You notch out a half an inch for the wall panel. Here's a piece of the wall board. So basically, this channel that is cut out in the weedy pan is supposed to get a bead of sealant and this is supposed to sit in here like this. To me, what looks like happened is they didn't do that part. They did the rabbit cut, 
but there's either no sealant in there. Oh yeah, it is in there. Thank you. Oh yeah, yeah, this is good coverage, good mortar coverage. Okay, so I want to try to get Yeah, there's a good bead of sealant in there. Okay, so what has happened here is the sealant that goes in here, you put a bead of sealant in here and then the board goes on top. But what happened was, is this, the sealant delaminated from this foam and you can see the foam if I rub it with my finger, um, there's no way you can expect polyurethane to hold up on a surface like this. I mean, it almost sloughs off. So what happens is th this started with a good bead of sealant in there, and then over time it delaminated it completely. As there was any stress, it just peeled away. And you might think, well, they didn't put sealant in there, but actually, the sealant is in here still on the board. This pulled off, the sealant is still attached. Which I'm gonna show you right now. The sealant is still attached. So you can actually see the sealant right here is still attached. And I'm gonna to try to cut it out so it stays attached to the board and the tile. I can feel it stretching. I mean, that sealant, it, yeah, that sealant is still in there. Okay, so here, here's how it was in there. You see, here's the back of the weedy board. And this went in, this went in just like, there's the board, that's the edge of the board. So this went like this. So here, here's the tile wall. The weedy board is behind it. And I might be able to get a little better section in here. But this is, this is the sealant that was down inside the rabbit cut right there. You see how that fits together like a puzzle? See that? So that, you can see it delaminated. This is polyurethane, or it's weedy sealant. And it delaminated from the rabbit cut. You can see it's like a puzzle came right out and that's where the water went in. So I would never, never, ever build a shower relying on a simple caulking joint like this. That's why I like either PVC liners that wrap up, a Schluter Curdy that wraps up, anything that is creating a lap up the wall is necessary. When you rely on a simple caulking joint like this, you can see what will happen over time. That's the way it goes. So here, Mike, you might want to hold on to that. So, let me see if I can get a little bit better. That was worth the price of emission right there. Yep. That's exactly what happened. Yep. It sealed to the top, but it never sealed to the bottom. Either through movement, they relied on a quarter inch. Yep. So there's that, there's that sealing again. 
You see it just, just delaminated over time. Okay, so you want to go ahead and step out, Devin. So in conclusion, you know, I'm not an authorized expert by any organization or institution, but I have been doing this since 2002. I use a lot of common sense. I test my own products. I keep an open mind and I just encourage you guys to do the same. You guys that are out there and I'm sure I'm going to get people that are upset for me making this video. You tell me that you've done weedy for how many years, never had a problem, but I have real world experience. I have, I've seen this stuff. I get emails every day. I get phone calls every day. I'm presented with these shower problems, especially as my YouTube channel has grown. So I've seen a lot and that's all I can give you. Uh, but my hope is, is that you guys are a little more cautious about these sold as easy to install shower kits. And um, what I've learned in life is nothing in life is worth having if it comes easy. Everything that's worth it comes through hard work, dedication, and perseverance. So I thank you for watching my videos, and I love you. I love being your tile coach, and we'll see you on the next video.